In Game of Thrones Season 3, Episode 8, Melisandre burned three leeches using Gendry's so-called King's Blood, and then they said three names. The usurper Robb Stark, the usurper Balon Greyjoy, the usurper Joffrey Baratheon. Eventually, all three of those gentlemen's songs were sung. That's a very powerful type of blood magic, or is it? Did the leeches even do anything? If so, why didn't Melisandre try it ever again? Instead of marching through the cold to fight the Boltons, why not just burn some little leeches? The reason is because the leeches didn't do anything. Don't get me wrong, in the world of ice and fire, magic's real, specifically blood magic. And Melisandre has definitely accessed magic several times. She glamours herself to look young and sexy. She used Stannis' light fire to create a shadow baby, two in the books. Melisandre sees visions in the flames. I have seen the path to victory in the flames. And first you must give yourself to the Lord of Light. I've said the words, damn you. And in the books, she glamoured the Lord of Bones to look like Mance Raider. She burnt the Lord of Bones instead of Mance, and glamoured Mance to look like the Lord of Bones so that she could trick Stannis, keeping Mance alive to work with him. Very cool subplot where Mance, or Rhaegar, goes by the name Abel, an anagram for Bale the Bard, but adrift. In the books, Melisandre also uses some form of blood magic to make a Varamyr Sixkin's worked eagle combust in midair. So Melisandre is definitely a sorceress. She can access blood magic. The thing is, she is also a master of deception. Most of these powders and potions, lies, deceptions to make men think they witnessed our Lord's power. She uses powders to make the fire leap higher than a man is tall or change its colors. She made Stannis' sword glow so that he and the others would buy into her Azor High scheme. And she often hides the pain that her blood magic cost her because the more effortless the sorcery appears, the more men fear the sorcerer. Melisandre understands the game. One time, she reflected on how Jon Snow took up residence in two rooms previously used by the Watch's late blacksmith, Donal Noy, who it's worth noting forged King Robert's Warhammer down at Storm's End back in the day. Melisandre looked at this as a mistake, a mistake that Jon chose not to reside in the King's Tower, the false humility of youth that is itself a sort of pride. It was never wise for a ruler to eschew the trappings of power, for power itself flows in no small measure from such trappings. Now let's go back to the leeches. What did they really do? Technically, nothing. Most likely, Melisandre saw visions of Robb Stark, Balin Greyjoy, and Joffrey passing away, just like she foresaw Sir Courtney Penrose's death at the hands of Stannis' second shadow bebe. Show me how you fight. Show me. Where's your god now? Keep in mind, Melisandre's goal was to burn Edric Storm or Gendry in the show. But Stannis was not going along with her plan, so she figured, I've got to give him and everyone another display of power. Get him to trust me. Then maybe he'll let me burn the boy. You can blame Sir Devos. He didn't believe in the power of King's blood. He wanted a demonstration. Because her main goal was to wake the dragon. To wake a dragon from stone, which is part of the Azor High prophecy. And you know how Aegon Targaryen conquered Westeros? He had a smaller fleet than the kings he faced, and a smaller army, but he had three dragons. Dragons of magic. A great gift requires a great sacrifice. A part, as usual, that she's misinterpreting. I mean, the dragon's actually Jon Snow. So Melisandre saw visions of these three dying dudes. She burnt three leeches and said their names, and then took credit for their debts, even though the leeches did not do anything. I have faith, and my faith has been rewarded. As our boy Davos said after the second of them died, I saw you burn some leeches, and two false kings are dead. Rob Stark was murdered by Lord Walder of the Crossing, and we have heard that Balon Greyjoy fell from a bridge. Who did your leeches kill? And you take credit because you dropped a leech into the fire. I take no credit. Smart smuggler. So yeah, the leeches did not do anything magical. Magic is real, but the leeches were simply used to deceive. You claim to speak for a god. It goes to show you that people with holes in their hearts, like Stannis, after seeing his parents die, well, those people can be brainwashed. I murdered my brother. And beyond that, it goes to show you how people who are brainwashed put up blinders. They stop thinking for themselves because someone, anyone, should have asked Melisandre, why are we attacking the Boltons? Why not just burn some leeches, milady? Even Davos didn't put two and two together with that. It's all right, Davos. We still love you. Hit subscribe. I'll catch you on the flip side. What is the life of one bastard boy against a kingdom? Everything. The boy must die.